Today, we're going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound calcium sulfite. So let's work from left to right. Calcium is the metal, right? And calcium is in group two on the periodic table. It's right here. So calcium is always Ca. And since it's always in group two, it always follows a plus two charge. We're going to need that. Now, the next part comes sulfite. This is a trick, guys. If you have a I-T-E ending, you know that this is a polyatomic. But remember, polyatomics are not on the periodic table. you got to memorize them. So we have to know that sulfite is SO3 with a negative 2 charge. Okay, so flashcard them out. You have to memorize your polyatomics, okay? Now we're ready to crisscross. Once you get the, the charges, we're going to use these charges, crisscross them to find out how many of each I need. So this plus two crisscrosses down to the sulfite, telling me that I need two of those. And this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two calciums. But when you have this idea, guys, always simplify. Ionic compounds need to be in their most simplified form. So two and two, I can divide both of these by two, right? And 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So that's how many of each I need for both of them. So it's a 1 to 1 ratio, right, between the calcium and the sulfite. So here we go. I just need Ca. I can write the 1, but technically you don't really see 1's subscripts. Okay, if you only have 1, you don't have to write the number. And then comes the sulfite, which is SO3. I have only one of those as well. So we're done. So calcium sulfite is just CaSO3, and that is our final answer. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. That will help us out, and I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.